Okay. Can I just start? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much for gathering here. Uh, we just had a <coughs> Security Council briefing on Afghanistan. Uh, I, we felt that the um, discussion was substantive, particularly because we had the 31st of May blast and the other security incidents which had uh, rocked the country in terms of security and of course there were <coughs> issues of political uh, unity which came out in, in Kabul. But uh, the good thing was that uh, because of this incident, uh, voices of support, solidarity, were voiced by, by many countries who spoke and the determination uh, and the need for the international community to keep on supporting Afghanistan in its all aspects towards peace and stability was confirmed. And the determination was clearer than ever. The second point I would say is that the, <coughs> the need for uh, strengthening the security uh, was uh, uh, voiced by many, uh, many, 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 many countries particularly the need for investigation and also to strengthen the security apparatus, both the, the Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Interior. And the third thing which came out clearly was there was almost consensus for the need to strengthen the political unity amongst the political leaders, leaders in that country, both in and out of the government, particularly in the face of these attacks and in order to be able to cope with these uh, security threats. The unity was stressed as being more important ever. And the other issue, the first issue, was the uh, um, need for the regional cooperation to, face, to, to strengthen the, um, the efforts for bringing countries together for bringing about peace and the need for cooperation among the countries, particularly those in the region and the neighbors, to try to address the situation. So I would say that those four things were uh, perhaps uh, highlighted much more starkly than other briefings that I have attended. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Well, I have a question about uh, security posture or military presence in Afghanistan and um, what would you like uh, would you like to expect the US to do in their uh, review on um, uh, military presence in Afghanistan would you like the US to send more troops uh, <clears throat> the United States is of course undergoing its review um, my understanding that they're trying to uh, uh, look at the review from a comprehensive perspective of trying to strengthen the security and the uh, peace efforts in that country. And that is very welcome. Of course, we have not yet had the uh, uh, sign of what they're actually going to be doing, but we already hear that in terms of the security, that they are fully committed to uh, keep on uh, supporting the Afghan government and that it might even be strengthened. And that is really welcome. Um, the Afghan forces are now being uh, um, trained and being organized uh, with the help of the international forces, particularly the NATO and the United States. And this will obviously have a good impact on bringing, upgrading the ability to deal with the security situation. And as people, people all agree today, the, se the security is the fundamental basis for doing, uh, enabling other activities to take, to take place, including business, development, and human rights. Thank you. Well, okay. If there are no more questions, uh, thank you very much. Thank you.